Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And the Pickwick Screwdriver Company is out of Vancouver, British Columbia in Canada. Um, it was a screwdriver that I got to see uh, quite a few different options in some of the tool stores that I stopped in when I was on my trip up through Canada. And it's kind of an interesting concept, an interesting take on this screwdriver. It was conceived by uh, a pilot and aircraft engineer who did not want the usual you know, like lost cap that's really lost on this one. It's an old craftsman here, totally empty. Um, you know, or snap on, you pop the cap and then dump out the bits and kind of dig around, find the one you want, you know, and then trade. Um, put that in, you know, scoot all the rest in, get the cap on if you haven't lost it by then, kind of that issue, PB Swiss you know, whole bit carousel that pops out. So what the idea here was is that you have one handle and on the outside of the handle, so it's a solid, uh, or a, I mean a very strong handle. It's not hollow on the inside. It's actually solid on the inside with the bits running around on the outside. And you take your one bit that you pulled out and you slide it into the handle, replacing um, the bit that pops out. So that's how you switch through the bits. So it's a simple design and um, it provides almost instantaneous access to the bit set. Uh, there are different sizes. This is the original one. They call this the six pack plus. It's the newer version of the original six pack. Um, here is uh, the dash seven. This is one of my favorites. It's actually, um, the same size head, or the same size diameter, but in a little bit more stubby form. And then here's the full-on stubby. And you can see also they're colorful. They come in translucent colors, as well as opaque or solid colors. Um, I've opted to go with a bunch of orange ones here. Uh, here's their tiny turner. I think that's what they call it. <laughs> you can see that, a teeny turner. Uh, little tiny bits, again, same function. Just shove it on through, pull the other one out. You can see there's kind of a rubber gasket in the center of that. Um, and then this one's their, their multi-Q. Uh, it's a smaller handle, um, about the same length as this larger one. Um, now you might notice these different, these bits are different sizes. Well, actually, look at this. There's one, there's one, there's one. There's one, there's one, um, and I'll, I'll get to this thing in a moment. So um, they are all different sizes. Now you can take a, a conventional bit and you can drop it, whoops, drop it in here. It does go down quite a ways, but um, usually you can get them right back out without using a uh, pair of pliers. Did I say that now? This one's a good metal one. And I'll grab pliers. So, sorry about that. So it goes down, but it's not lost. You just pop it back out. Um, I think I tested it in this one. Yeah, nice. This is, the, this is the size that works quite well, but it comes with a longer bit. This one is the design, the spec bit. You can tell here. Now, if you stick one of these short ones in here, what happens? Well, I might be able to get the bit out, but it stays, and then you just punch it on out. Maybe give a little more oomph there, so it's not the end of the world. Um, and anything that gets stuck, you can easily push on through. In fact, I can show you that here. You know, this doesn't come all the way out. If I shove something else in there, now I've got another bit in there. You can see that just slides right on up to the front because there's nothing to grab it. Um, there's probably some sort of an O-ring up there. Pop this one out. Need the pliers again. There we go. Because um, this plastic ridge right around in here is what grips the bits. Anyway, it's a solid design. Um, it uh, holds the bits very securely. You know, you don't really see anything starting to work its way out of there. Um, fast, you they make a handful of different ones designed with specific sets of bits, whether they're Torx bits, um, different Phillips bits, etc. And then, of course, 
you can get the one that's sized for what you want. And you can get replacement bits, of course. This one looked a little tiny. Get that to focus, little tiny Torx there. They are marked on them. T6, and they're branded. But anyway, I like these things. They're on the heavy side. Uh, the orange, I thought I'd show you, compare that orange. I'm gonna use the big one here to the snap-on orange. Very similar, depends on which snap-on tool you're using. This one I guess, is a carbon scraper, big old handle. Um, and then what do we have here? The little stubby, this is where I started. Um, this one caught my eye. This is called the, the pick, the pick quick pick. And what this is, is three different bits. They're the same size here as one of the others. And you just slide it in. It's held in with a couple of O-rings. Um, I'm, I'm not impressed with this thing. And when I use it, um, I don't get a lot of leverage. There's really not, it's like holding on to a lighter. I mean, there's just not, not a lot going on because it's sort of a flat surface. When you grab onto one of these round ones, you actually get multiple points of purchase. Here, you're kind of just getting the two, and that's about it. And in fact, most of it's around the center. So I couldn't really torque very hard on this thing, but I guess it is just a plastic housing, doesn't have the metal here or the alloy. Um, they also make one called the Mariner, and that one I'm kind of wondering about. It's got some kind of a nickel-plated um, coating on it, so it's designed to work uh, hopefully corrosion-free in a saltwater environment. But anyway, I thought I'd bring these to your attention. Some people have mentioned these in the comments about some of my other screwdriver videos as a brand I should check out. Um, and it's a Canadian company, uh, Pickwick. Pickquick, P-I-C-Q-U-I-C. Um, they seem to be, you know, their website's very friendly. They just, the way they talk about things, it just seems so Canadian. But anyway, I thought you might be interested, and there they are. You can also get them on Amazon. Uh, they're fairly inexpensive, and you can buy sets of them. In fact, I think I got this as a set, maybe 20 bucks or something. Um, but I'll put some links down so you can check them out. And with that, Doc out.